Oh. It's not because I'm mad. You look naturally mad. <laughs> it's because I'm thinking. Hi, I'm Marianne. Hi, I'm Jay. Hi, I'm Ty. I'm Kona. And don't forget Sarge. Wolf. And together, we, we are the Tycho fam. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Welcome, fam. So, if you're new to our channel, we are a Filipino American family from California, and we sold our house six years ago and moved over to here, to the Philippines. Hi, we're here. Hey, kiss. Miss you guys. And yes, we are Filipino, but we are very American, so believe me, it was still a culture shock moving here. By the way, if you're gonna see me in the vlog, I, um, sometimes I, I go. Yeah, he has natural eyebrows that look- It's not because I'm mad. He looks naturally mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm thinking. It's like the Angry Birds eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today we have some questions that we get so often from family and friends, and they just want to know how we're doing out here, how we're doing things, why we made these decisions. Uh, we, we've never actually really vlogged about our our move, so now uh, we just kind of just showed up on, on YouTube and <laughs> told people who quietly like, hey, we're in the Philippines. <laughs> So now we're here to show you all what we're doing. And while we do all that, we're also going to be eating some Jollibee. So this is not our first time eating Jollibee, but most of the time when we order Jollibee, we just get chicken, spaghetti, the norm, the, the favorites. Basics, yeah. And today we're going to try something different. Yeah, so they have the burger steak, the famous burger steak. Comes with lumpia and rice. Ooh, that looks good. Mushroom and the famous gravy. Palabok. This is like a family sized palabok that we um, came with the meal, so we're gonna mix that up later. We it's tried tasty. palabok before, but not really from Jollibee. Yeah. So, yeah, and then we also got um, the bacon cheesy Jollibee burger. Haven't tried that one yet. Sounds good, right? Yeah. And then I think this one, it doesn't say, but it's the Aloha burger. So it sounds pineapple. like- Pineapple. Yeah, it's got pineapple in it. <laughs> and um, we ordered Jollibee pies. You know, everybody's heard of the peach mango pie, right? Well, they have other flavors too as well. And we have the buko pie. The buko pie. They all have the same cover. Um, oh, so these are the two bukos. Then we got um, peach, and then the other is actually ube with cheese, so. We're gonna show you those after that. And then of course we got the spicy Jollibee chicken. And you gotta get the spicy, the spicy's the best. I like it better than the regular. <laughs> and yes. yeah, and then the gravy, so. The all famous gravy. Yeah. All right, so first off. That's easy. For me, the reason why we moved to the Philippines was for one, we wanted to be close to my parents because they retired in Philippines. Mm -hmm. And then the cost of living, of course, services, food. It makes sense financially to move to Philippines. We came over to visit several times prior and then every single time that we come and visit, I've noticed that things are progressing in Philippines. And that's the reason why we thought of maybe we should try something different while we're still young. And it took a while for me to convince Mary to actually make yeah. that move or make the decision but yeah. we're here now i was still pretty like hesitant to like come out to philippines it took a few times of visiting back and forth uh, luckily his parents live out here so and we had friends that lived in manila so it kind of uh, opened my eyes up of you know possible life out here like you know what we could do it took a while of yeah visiting <laughs> it took me a while to decide and we finally got to a point where like okay i think It'd be a cool idea to move out here. And I really got actually excited. A little uneasy, but like at the same time, I was more excited because I was like watching things, researching things that even got me more excited to come here. And we watch a lot of vlogs as well. Vlogs. I was watching a lot of Filipino teleseries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and another thing we wanted to do is possibly start a business out here. There's a lot of lots of room for opportunities to open a business. And then traveling, of course. We've always wanted to travel to a lot of the Asian countries nearby. And of course, it's a lot more closer. A lot more affordable, lot more affordable. coming from Philippines. Yeah, so we like that. that Philippines would... alone has over 7,000 islands. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we would like to Explore. Partially explore. Yeah, we've been to a few like mm -hmm. touristy islands. It's always like an adventure finding new places to go visit. And you know, we figured, why do we have to wait 
till we're retired to like do all this to travel you know why not do it now while we're still young we figured if it doesn't work out we you can know, always go back yeah we could always go back to and the u.s it's not longer <laughs> yeah <laughs> especially when we moved the kids were at a young age where it was you <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sarge is calling us. He wanted to be a part of it. And uh, as we noticed, <laughs> us work. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> we just love so we noticed the daily grind in the U.S. is not about work. And even though when the weekend comes in, we're tired to spend family time. So we want to change that up. And uh, the kids are still young enough to adapt. Mm -hmm. And we wouldn't want them to move them out like in high school when they have yeah. girlfriends and so forth yeah it'll be a lot harder so we finished question number one what we're gonna do is every time we finish a question we're gonna go try something yeah what should we try first let's try this the bacon cheesy mm. sorry you take the first bite it's got bacon in there <laughs> looks good yeah i'll just half it all right make it easy right. make it easier oh. <laughs> i want some too <laughs> It's hard to It's got like a sweet mayo sauce in here. This is really good. Surprised mm. this is the first time trying this. No. I don't know about you, I'm gonna finish mine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating. I'm enjoying my food. Sorry, we're like ignoring Sarge right now. Mm. I'm so me and the kids were born in the States. I grew up super Americanized. So no, I don't speak Tagalog, lived around it, but I, you know, we go to American schools and we never practiced it in my family. So I never really got to fully learn Tagalog. I understand some words, some phrases, and especially here it's helped, like I hear it all around me. But I still speak English and, and a lot of the locals speak English here too. So it's easy to kind of get around. For myself, I do speak Ilongo, so I'm more fluent with Ilongo, so when I arrived there, yes, I was nosebleed with Tagalog, because my original, or what I'm comfortable with, is English and Ilongo. So, Tagalog is coming along, I'm practicing a lot of it, and for the most part, I would say 60% I could have a conversation with locals. The locals, yeah. But for the most part, they, they could tell that I don't speak that's not my natural language or my first language and they end up speaking to me in English anyways so they can tell when you have like an American accent like even, yes even when you're speaking Tagalog it's weird so. correct so don't get offended that <laughs> we don't speak Tagalog in our vlog yeah it's just something that we're still working with and you're gonna hear me speaking Tagalog uh, once in a while having a conversation yeah. with, uh, on the background like and Marin also is uh, doing her best to conversate in Tagalog. Yeah, sometimes I'll, they'll talk to me in Tagalog and then I will sometimes understand and then I'll try to reply, but I usually reply in English. <laughs> and then they figure out, like, okay, she's a foreigner. <laughs> yeah. And the kids, all English. All right, so what should we try next? Um, should we do the burger or the burger steak? Um, let's try the burger steak, something different. Okay. All right, burger steak. Ooh, egg rolls. Yeah, it's like the loco moco. The Hawaiian version, right? Mmm. Mmm. sauce. I got our lumpia sauce. Yeah, it's good sitting around. We have the delivered, so. It's not crispy anymore, but it's still good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Feels like a perfect match. You want to try I'm the burger? I'm gonna try the burger. Mmm. It is like a local mogul. Yeah. It's like a little extra salty, but then it's good when you eat it with the rice. So like it balances up. Right. Yes. Only thing missing is the egg. Yeah. And it'll be a loaf of mobile. But yeah, you definitely have to eat it with the rice. That's right. good. Mm -hmm. mm. I know we're sharing this, but one of those meals is actually pretty filling. Mm hmm You're just filling. It does. Alright. Well, I'm yeah. a dual citizen. Uh, I was born in Philippines. Before we came to Philippines, we processed our documents to also get the kids dual citizenship. Mm -hmm. For Marianne, she's born and raised in the U.S. and we're still working on uh, trying to get her a dual citizenship as well through marriage. Though, that's gonna take a while. Since the kids and I are dual citizens, 
she could technically stay here up to 12 months. Yeah, that's called the Balik Bayan privilege. So if I'm married to a Filipino, technically there's a Filipino, then I have up to a year to go in and out of, I mean to stay, stay in the Philippines. And then we could, to renew that, that privilege, you just have to leave the country. Oh, <laughs> so just I know. Sorry. Okay, so, okay, sorry for the interruption. We totally forgot to continue this conversation. But as I was saying, since I am a U.S. citizen, I'm considered a foreigner, and I am married to a Filipino citizen, which is Jerry, and I have the privilege to stay in the Philippines for up to one year, visa-free. All I have to do when my year is up is to travel out of the country, and it could be anywhere, it doesn't have to be the U.S. So for example, I can go to Taiwan or Japan, Hong Kong, even just for a weekend. Then once I re-enter back into the Philippines, my one-year stay resets. However, in order to do this, I must be traveling with Jerry, my Filipino spouse. I can't re-enter by myself. If I do, then I only get 30 days as a tourist, and then I would have to leave and re-enter again, or pay for an extension, which can also add up. So to be honest, I'd rather spend it on a trip because I love traveling, and so we usually plan our international travels around the end of my stay. And I know there's other ways around this, like the permanent resident visa, um, those are other possibilities that we are considering. So comment below if you have any other suggestions. That would be great. Any mini money mo. Let's go for the burger. Burger? Yeah. Okay. This would be Aloha burger. That's a good size burger. Yeah. Oh, there's bacon too. Nice. It's kind of like the cheesy bacon, but with pineapple to give it that extra sweet, savory flavor. Mmm. Mmm. I kind of like that. Okay, yeah, this one's better than the first one. Mm -hmm. Although the first one is good. I would say this will be number one. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, or the first one that we tried. Which one was it bacon, called? Bacon cheesy. Okay. Yeah. That one would be my second best. Mm -hmm. It's like eating pineapples with pizza. I know there's a lot of people who don't like that, but I, I'm one of those people that love that. <laughs> like sweet and savory. That was really good. They know how to do it right. <laughs> mm, getting mm. full. Mm. But I must eat this. No, it's good that we're sharing. Imagine <laughs> if we got like a what? True. So when we first moved here, we rented a condo for a year. And then we were thinking about, you know, what are we going to do for income? So um, we actually wanted to start a business. We started looking into franchises mm -hmm. and it kind of evolved. And then as we were looking around like places to have a franchise, we started noticing to actually run out of space, you know, that's pretty costly too, just for your actual business. And then we started evolving into other ideas, whereas like, what if we just build our own property? We could live in it, it could be a residential and a commercial property, and and then we could start a business in it. So that's when it kind of evolved. We started looking, our, instead of looking for spaces to rent, we started looking for um, land, like empty, vacant lots. Yeah. We just talked to people, we connected with people, and then that person connected to another person. So the more you talk to people, you'll eventually like build your network. We found a lot. Thank you, sir. We gave him number. We ended up finding some contractors. They helped. Um, design our building that we wanted and we eventually built it for like a year or two and once it was built we moved into our building then we leased out the units downstairs yeah uh, we were using that for income and we have tenants yeah so we're like landlords technically <laughs> we're mr roper <laughs> yeah. from three's company come and knock on our door so yeah we're landlords uh, kona said he calls it landlording <laughs> yes <laughs> for landlording <laughs> I feel like over the six years that we've lived here, we've gotten very used to lifestyle. I've learned that I actually like living in smaller condos. When we were waiting for our building that we built, well, we were living in a condo the whole time. Once we moved into our big building, it was kind of as big as like a house in the States. And I was kind of like not used to it anymore. I was so used to living in a smaller space condo because I loved how it was easy to maintain and clean. And I loved the lifestyle, like just being close to like amenities like the mall and the stores and when you're in a house you have to drive to go to places like that whereas in condo communities they're called townships um, you can have the convenience of 
living near a mall with all the restaurants, um, lots of amenities. So I like ended up liking that lifestyle a lot. <laughs> oh, we gotta try another food. All right, so let's try the palabok. palabok. Okay. So this is their palabok. This is a Filipino noodle dish. I already know I'm gonna like this one. <laughs> yeah, I always love pil palabok. Pilabok. Pilabok. <laughs> Palabok. I liked it even actually more over um, pancit, I think. <laughs> Salamat. <laughs> Walang anumang. Wow! I learned that. Kain <laughs> tayo. Kauta. It's the Ilongo version of the tea. The tea. Or kain tayo. Mmm. 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 I like it. I wonder if they have Pilabok in them. Like other ones around the world. There's just probably here. Like the other Jolly Bee? Mm -hmm. How about you guys comment on that? Do they have Palabu in the American Jolly Bee? Or, you know, Canadian? Other countries. other countries? Comment below because I'm just curious. <laughs> Not every, you know, country has everything. Okay, so far, my favorite is this one Aloha, cheesy burger, and burger steak. Only because it's too familiar to me. Yeah. Like um, the... The burger steak. The burger steak. Tastes like the... the loco moco. Yeah. <laughs> For all our Hawaiian fans out there. <laughs> but doesn't mean that I don't like it. Yeah. It's still good. I like all of them. I don't, I don't really rate them and order anything. I like all of them. I like anything. <laughs> mm. So when we first moved here, um, we, we were looking at different schools. Actually, Jerry went back to the Philippines when we were still in the States to kind of scope out schools and places to live. We actually kind of looked into international schools only because, you know, we figured it would be a better transition for them. Um, it wouldn't be too of a culture shock with them. So they were going to an international school when we first moved here and we loved, we loved them. They were like so nice and the teachers were so like caring and nurturing. Yeah. Hey, meet your new friends, Kona. Hello, my dear teacher, Maria. Oh. <laughs> then after that, after COVID happened, we ended up um, homeschooling like everybody else. But we were actually already looking into homeschooling prior to that, just because we wanted to do more travel and we liked the idea of having more flexible time. The COVID situation just kind of helped us make that <laughs> happen. We ended up liking the homeschooling and when I mean homeschooling it wasn't like we were still like tied with the school and not distant learning and zoom calling. We were actually just doing our own homeschooling. We had our own curriculum. So we've been doing that for two years and now we're kind of at a point where we want to do more travel and I want to, tra to transition the kids more into um, unschooling or world schooling if you've heard of that. Comment below. So what I want is like the kids to actually just learn more about the world and um, we don't have to worry about tests, curriculum, we're gonna be just learning like real life. So, and they could practice like learning life skills along the way. And what's so, great with that is they could pick a topic that they're interested in. They're not required to do like the actual real like, you know, subjects that you learn in school. I mean, these are things that you, they're gonna use things that they use every day. Like, you know, you know, in school you learn things and then you end up not using it like later on in life. So. Every day they're still learning like math stuff, social stuff, science stuff. These are like real life things. So um, how we do that is we go to like, we visit places like museums, um, we do a lot of traveling. And so they're, that's world schooling. And then if they want specifically to learn something like say like art or um, some type of musical instrument, like then we can have them concentrate on that. We're gonna base it off their strengths and what they yeah. enjoy instead of basing on what we think is best for them. Yeah. We cater to what they want. So it's like child-led, it's not parent-led. Because if it's homeschooling, it's still kind of like traditional schooling. We Correct. still have to like, you know, assign them stuff. So we're gonna try it out this year and yeah. So if you want to learn more about it, Google it, YouTube it. <laughs> I'll I'll do another video on it later, but there's just so much into it. We'll talk about it later. But this palabok is great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm getting full. I know. Well, we know what goodness. the chicken tastes like, so we'll save that for the kids. So, Ty, what do you like about the Philippines? It's just the malls. The malls? What do you like about the malls? Good restaurants. What's your favorite restaurant? Uh, Italian. Italianis. What else do you like to get at the mall? 
uh, milk tea. Ooh, milk tea. I like Okada. Ooh, what's that, Okada? Sushi uh, and desserts. Oh, are you talking about the medley buffet? Yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, what I like to eat there. That's your favorite food? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ty loves sushi. Well, he can eat sushi. He misses that, so. And tempura. Yeah. Ikona, so what do you like about the Philippines? I like the, the beaches. Beaches. Ooh, we have traveled to a lot of beaches. People from all over the world come to the Philippines because of their beaches. What was your other answer? Travel. Traveling. We do get to travel a lot more when we're out here, right? Yeah. Where else do you want to travel? Japan. Japan. Ooh, we are closer to Japan. Family, friends, food. The, the three Fs. <laughs> the three Fs. Yeah, I do. I think the same. Like, I miss family and friends. I think the first year when we first moved here, I was kind of like missing home. But after that, like after going back and forth a few times, back to the US, like I've actually kind of appreciate more of the Philippines more. And um, yeah, family, food, and friends. There's just, yeah, some foods that we can't get here that's like way better over there. And then when we go back, that's what we do. We just. We splurge. We splurge on the and food that like we can. Pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we mainly miss. But other than that, you know, a lot of the stuff you can still get here in the Philippines. That is true. All right, so what do you miss about America? Uh, they, they have Target and Walmart. Uh, I also miss seeing them. Oh. oh. So what do you miss about the U.S.? Weather. The weather? You miss the cooler weather? Yeah. Yeah. Look how big uh, Kona has grown ever since we used to vlog when we were younger. He's totally changed. <laughs> I think it's just my hair that looks different. <laughs> well, you're, you totally changed compared to like kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> um, so now you guys know that we have a dog, Sarge. You guys saw in our previous video. If you haven't, I'll link it up here. Ding, ding. <laughs> what we're up to today nowadays, uh, we pretty much Landlord, <laughs> Landlording. which means we collect rent and manage our property. Oh, there's another surprise, but we'll reveal that in the future. Oh. Well, we've been traveling a lot more. Philippines has opened back up, so a lot of travelers are coming in, a lot of foreigners, and so this is the best time to come. Now we're just always vlogging, getting a lot of uh, content, and hoping to share all of that with you guys. Yeah, we're so grateful that you guys are here. Thank you guys Watching for us. following <laughs> us and listening through our, our mukbang. <laughs> <our mukbun. laughs> oh, we gotta show the, the food or the, the dessert. Go ahead. All right. Um, oh, by the way, these are like small sizes. You know how like the ones back in McDonald's in the U.S. are bigger? But the, uh, out here they make it really small, but they do have a peach mango large one. But most of the other ones you get are really small, but they're cute. So, so I'm going to try the buco. Here's the, look, it's so small. <laughs> It's so tiny. So it's actually perfect because then you could like try all the flavors. I'll just bite it. You're just gonna bite it? The, which one is this one? That's the buko. Buko? Buko pie. I tried it before. Buko is coconut. Coconut shreds. Mm. You need to eat. I like the buko pie. Comment below, do they have this in the other international? Jollibee. Jollibees? <laughs> or is it just peach mango? I don't know. Anyways, they have this here. Mmm. Mmm. good. Reminds me of like Chicken buko pie in like today day. Yeah. So this one is the ube cheese flavor. Ube and cheese. Yeah. They used to put ube in makabuno, but it's now ube and cheese. Okay. You don't have to finish it. Oh, but I like it. <laughs> finish it after. Okay, go. So we can try all of it. <laughs> Show them. Mm. Can you see it? <laughs> ube. And cheese. And cheese. And the cheese is kind of salty, right? Or is it? Like a cheesecake. I thought like when I tried it once. I don't know. It's good though. Because it's the ube is sweet and then yeah, it has a little saltiness to it. Okay. The cheese. So it's a good uh, combination. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. This one's Thanks. so crunchy. Mm. This is the peach mango. Mm hmm The last one. Peach flavor. Everyone knows peach mango. But I like it. Can't go wrong with peach mango. It's like the mm. Pinoy version of the apple pie, the fried apple pie. I love how the 
press is so crunchy. Mm -hmm. And usually it's really hot when they serve it to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I tend to not eat it in the first 30 minutes to yeah. cool down. And by the time I eat it or I look for it, it's all gone. <laughs> Because these are my favorite. <laughs> Honestly, when I want to order a Jollibee, it's only because I want the pies. <laughs> All right, so that concludes our mukbang questionnaire Q&A vlog. <laughs> Hope it wasn't too boring, you guys. Hope you guys got to know a little bit more about us. and um, A little bit more about Jollibee. <laughs> a little bit more about Jollibee food. So we'll see you next time. Uh, if you liked this video, Hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this, um, don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys on the next vlog. Bye. Bye.